Hello, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Terry Harden, Walt Disney's legendary Imagineer here. And it is also appeared in Ghostbusters, Men in Black, various films. This is Ask Me Anything Friday. This is Ask Me Anything Friday. And we're going to talk about a few things today. A lot of Disney stuff in the news, lots and lots, but the passes did pop up. We were discussing before they might not, but we knew that as people were coming down the pike with theirs needing to be renewed, that Disney would probably pop up. Let me try that again. There we go. With uh, some ideas and with their their Disney Pass concept situations. Yes, indeed. Whoa, wow. Oh, my goodness. Hello, hello. Ask me any questions you might have. You can ask about my background. You can ask about my history. I was mentioning earlier today on the Patreon page that uh, with my tribe that uh, I got to see Industrial Light and Magic. And there are a few things in there that involve yours truly, but also a lot of my friends are on there. And I was just going crazy as I saw that because that is a show that took me back down memory lane. So if you get a chance to see that, uh, you may try to look for me, but my my tribe today kept saying we didn't see you because a lot of the time, because I'm a key puppeteer in Captain EO, you see me from the waist down. How are you going to recognize me from the waist down? Unless you're me. So I will start to post some pictures when I get a minute uh, that will help you to identify me should you want to watch that yourself. Before we get started, as always, yes, we're going to talk about the passes and are they right for you? It's not going to be my decision, but uh, we'll do some chatting about it. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Post them in the comments. Forgive my phone. My father is, uh, of course, one moment, please. Just one second. This is Terry. Yes. Yes. My dad. You are. Could you do me a huge favor and call me back at, uh, this afternoon? Yeah, that'll be great. And then I can fill you in and I'll probably be with my father at that time. So we can both fill you in if you like. My name is Terry. I'm his eldest daughter. And I do have power of attorney. So we're, we're both together to help you get what you need. I think you're going to be a huge help. So I look forward to speaking with you. All right. Thanks a lot. Okay. Bye-bye. That actually was why I have the phone because my dad's, did you all know that my dad was in the hospital and then he was out of the hospital and then he's in a place that he shouldn't be in. And then uh, I had to fight to, to get him out of it and he's still in it, but he's not. And he's got one foot in. He's like the hokey pokey. He's got one leg in one leg out and it's just craziness. So I have the phone here to be sure and get these people because these people don't have a phone number to return their call. They put a name on it, like uh, something exciting. Like you would answer like uh, no ID. You know, and uh, I've had to answer. I have a policy of not answering numbers I do not recognize, but I've had to forego that policy in order to help my dad. All right. This was not going to be that kind of a talk about my father and what I'm going through to help my father, nor to have you listen, sit there and listen to me speak to the person. But that's a social worker from the VA that I really needed to talk to. And I could tell why did it say VA social worker? No, it said L.A. County. I don't know how these things work. You'd think people would know that a lot of people just don't pick up the phone if they don't recognize it. And wow, what does that mean? You know, but anyway, no worries, no harm, no foul. Thank you for being patient. All of you who sat there and watched me talk to the social worker for my father. We've only been trying to reach her for two, count them, two weeks. So it's really great that she finally showed up. But then I have to have her talk to me later because they always call during a broadcast. Ah. Now you've seen my week. Now you've seen my week. All right. Back to Ask Me Anything Friday, Terry Harden. And like I was about to tell you, uh, if you are interested in joining the tribe, Terry's tribe, your voice needs to be heard. It's a community of like-minded people who take care and support each other with love, caring, and uh, they're just great. All walks of life all walks of life. 
They aren't just people who draw and paint. They are people who are uh, real, th whose uh, uh, passions are um, charities and social events like that. And then uh, people who write grants and they have an ability to do that. One of the people in our tribe can write a killer uh, about you or a resume about you. And I'm often reaching out to her for that kind of help. She's all, they also do, uh, one of them cleans and talks to you about cleaning without, uh, using harmful chemicals. So everybody has a passion. So what is the definition of an artist? An artist is someone who is pa passionate, pitikable, passionate about what they do. So I'm looking for that. I actually found a mobile notary. I needed a notary who was mobile because my parents right now are not. And uh, I met a true artist in her field. And uh, I told her I was not only going to keep her card, but she was my adopted notary from now on because she is not only very mobile, but she understands my parents because that's what she's usually doing a lot of notary is people who have elderly parents helping them become cohesive. So yay for her. I found an artist in the notary. I found an artist in a lawyer. Can you believe it? I actually found a lawyer who loves what they do, who is compassionate, caring, and wonderful. And just, uh, I cannot say enough about this lady. She is just amazing. And uh, I'm really happy to have a, a lawyer who's an artist. Uh, that's her art, being a lawyer. A uh, notary is this one's art, being a notary. My bookkeeper, art, working with numbers. You're getting the picture. If you're passionate with what you do and you're good at it, you are an artist. We also have my friend Robert, who is an art in sushi. And I love sushi. So uh, please join us. It's $5 a month. That's where we do it. Um, sometimes you can join for a year, but I don't recommend that. I recommend that you join for the month, you pay month to month, put your right foot in, see if you like Terry's Tribe. And if you do, please stay, put the other foot in, push your comfy chair up into that portal, kick back and really enjoy the conversations with us. Or if it's not yours, take your foot out. You've tested it. I appreciate it and so on and so forth. $5 a month means you have skin in the game, and so do I. So there you go. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to have you. So these Disneyland passes, and please, if you have a question, okay, put it over here. If you have a comment, put it over here. And uh, just, uh, just let me know, okay? I'll read them and talk to you, and we'll, we'll have a discussion, okay? All right. Cool, cool. Yay. Woohoo, woohoo. You can see I've got a lot of energy. That's because I'm so excited to have gotten that call. Even though it was timed terribly, uh, I, I am grateful for that call. So um, yippee, 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 yippee. Uh, okay. So these Disneyland passes, I happened to get an annual pass when they were offered. And uh, a lot of us spoke about this in the tribe. And the reason we did was because you started to ask yourself these um, annual that these uh, annual passes are passes that you have to now really consider uh, if it's worth it for you. By this, I mean, there are some criteria that I thought will help you decide as your renewals come up or if you haven't bought yet. Right now, let me just lay out what the deal is, okay? Many of you probably already know, but for those of you who don't, let me lay it out anyway. It'll be clearer for myself as well. Last Thursday, uh, which was yesterday, uh, they started to allow renewals if you were in, as I understand it, 30 days of your pass expiring. And you had to be someone who was 30 days within that window of your pass expiring to be able to renew. Ding! Right now, as it stands, only renewals will be approached to do Disney passes. And I mean... Right now, at this time, no new passes will be issued until the renewals are taken care of. As of today, August, 
2022, okay? So what I'm trying to say to you here is Disney can change with both oars in the water, right? So just keep your hands on the Disney Pulse so that if things change, you'll know. Now, originally the passes were a certain price and they were quite different from when um, the passes left. They, they, I mean, I think they were. Somebody said they might've been the same, but the same no more, okay? And uh, on my phone here, I have uh, an article that was sent to me because it does cross by uh, that the prices have gone up. So the Magic Key, uh, Magic Key annual passes are different now because they're no longer calling the top one the name that they did before. They are now the Inspire, which is the top one. The believe, the enchant, and imagine. Okay, mad increase two hundred dollars for the inspire key, so it's going to cost you an extra two hundred dollars for the inspire key. Hi, uh, 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 hundred and fifty dollars for the believe key, up uh, fifty dollars for the enchant key, and fifty dollars for the imagine key. The imagine key is only available to California residents. Now, all of them offer 20% discount off of Genie Plus, all right? Is this something you would use? You must ask yourself, would you use it? Now, the price has gone up. You heard what I said. Yes, up $200 for the top one. Does that make sense to you? All right. Do these increases make sense to you? Does the addition of Genie Plus at 20% off make sense to you? If it does then you may consider renewing. Yes, when it's your time, 30, within that 30-day window. Um, you also get uh, uh, the, the top one, uh, all four magic keys, and then uh, the top one, you get, all of them give you unlimited photo pass. Again, how important is this to you? Unlimited photo pass for your passes. Uh Enchant and Imagine Pass holders get a 25% discount when parking in the Toy Story parking lot. Uh, while passes are, let says, when passes are available for reservations and block out dates are not in effect. Okay. Which means you can't park there if you have a block out date. All right. So it's not 25% all the time. It's 25% when your pass is active. Very important to think about that because with the pass where it's um, on, uh, where it's free parking, unlimited parking, at least the last, the pass I have now, which I don't renew until next year, uh, I can park at any time, whether I have a reservation or not. Okay. I can park in the lot to go to downtown Disney or wherever. Right. Okay. Because I have free parking. I have the top one, just so you know. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Like the former dream key, the new Inspire key will continue to include parking, while the Believe key will offer a 50% discount on parking. Uh, latest updates, um, program approaches uh, the 25th, right? Uh, existing pass holders can purchase any of them, regardless of their current pass, as long as they are within their renewal window. Okay, the renewal window is key. Limit number of passes for sale. Uh, magic key types can have renewals paused at any time. Uh, current um, sales on all four could be paused, etc., etc., etc. Disneyland, blah blah, call center before the 18th. Uh, no new sales will happen. I mentioned that, and uh, yeah. So then they go on and on and on and on and on. One of the things that they do tell you is that uh, uh, the new top tier Inspire will have blockout dates during the Christmas holidays, okay? So this is new. The Dream Key, originally, there were no blockout dates whatsoever, including the holidays. And um, the new one has those blockout dates. For me, okay, so let me just tell you, for me, I have the top pass because I go to Disney a lot and I live in a place where Disneyland exists, okay? So I live in California and people live in Florida. This passes might be just the ticket for you if you're someone who goes a lot. Myself as an Imagineer, I'm going there a lot to see folks like you. 
you'll reach out and say, hey, I'm coming to Disneyland on this date. Can you join me? And I'll say, hey, let me see. Not always. Definitely with my tribe, I work real hard to get down there and see you guys. But, uh, but I need the parking. Okay, I always buy the top tier because I don't want to worry about parking. I have this thing about parking. It is, uh, call it a, a pet peeve, a little quirk, whatever you want to call it. I I really get twisted if I don't have decent parking. So I buy the big pass because I want the free parking. I don't want to worry about it. Also, I'm close, so I can go a lot. And the bottom line is, if you look what it costs to go to the park and pay every time you go, compared to this pass, I think you go, I think you need to go. I think one of the, my tribe members said, you need to go, what is it, four times and it's paid for? And I'm, I'm, I'm well over that. I go to see my friends there. You know, I go to see people there. Now, if they stopped offering parking, I may have to consider it because I really am about the parking. I really want the parking. I could go say, hey, meet you in downtown Disney and that so far is free. So that's the deal. That's kind of what, what you have to kind of think about is how much do you go to Disneyland and how close are you? I'm close enough that I average with the pandemic. I'm not going as much as I used to before the pandemic, but I'm still going about 10 to 12 times. So the pass is really, really um, a benefit to me. Sometimes I pop in just to get a Dole Whip, pop in to have a nice evening, maybe catch the fireworks and go home if I'm in the area. When you're close, you have this option to do this. Even with appointments, you have lots of options to pop in and pop out. Maybe I'll go there to go shopping, et cetera, et cetera. So the nice thing about that pass is it doesn't mean you have to spend the day. You can go as often as you like, as long as you can get an appointment and you can go every single day if you wish, you know, as long as you book that accordingly, right? So for me, it's, 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 a, it's a win-win situation, even with the new price break. I would have liked less pay for taking those Christmas dates out because honestly, I never go near the place during Christmas. It's super, super full. If I visit you at the Christmas time, I don't visit you in the park. I usually say I'm in downtown Disney. Let's connect. The good news, and I think I mentioned this before, was that when you make appointments at Disneyland, you are insured exiting and entering the park during Christmas time. If the park overfilled, you could walk out and not be able to get back in. And so many of the guests that came around Christmas time were afraid to leave the park back before the pandemic. So a lot of times we'd visit, like I was visiting them in Disneyland jail. I would actually stand by the bars and we would visit through because my pass was blocked out at that time. They were too concerned about losing their opportunity to stay in the park when they wanted to during the holidays. And I totally understood that. So uh, I'm very flexible because I'm close by. So are you close by? How often can you go? And does it make sense? Take the amount it costs because a Disney pass, annual pass, is a two-part pass, okay? It allows you to admit yourself into both parks, whether you do Disneyland in the AM, California Venture in the AM, and then do Disneyland or California Venture in the PM, you are a two-part pass. So now you need to check how much it costs for you to go under normal circumstances with the full price of the Disneyland tickets and compare it with, you know, how much does that number go into the actual cost of the pass that you're thinking about? Honestly, they still are a great bargain if you are someone who goes to Disneyland a lot, okay? Tribe member Evan Hunter goes like every other day. He really pushes that pass that he's got. He gets it, twists it, uses it an awful lot and uses it more and more and more and more. So honestly, he also rides rides. So I could imagine that for Evan, I haven't talked to him yet. I haven't really gotten into this deeply with my tribe. But for Evan, I can almost tell you that he likes to ride rides. So Genie Plus might be something he wanted to do because now at 20% off, hey, you know, for me, I always enjoy 20% off meals, 20% off merchandise, 20% off 
and then free parking. And then you got, I figure all of these components asking myself, is it a benefit to have this pass? And nine times out of 10 for me, it absolutely is. Cause I'm coming down to see you guys when you're in town. Yeah, absolutely. Guys, this is, this is the big one. You know, this is the thing. And I wanted to talk to you about it today as we move forward, because many of you are going to be renewing in the next few months. Many of you are not like me who waited until the following year to use their pass. Yeah, I didn't use my pass until January of 2022. Uh, I was getting in with cast members. Um, I was getting in different ways, but I don't plan on that. I don't assume that I'm going to do that. I'd much rather have my pass so I can get in it back and forth. Now, as an Imagineer, I'm a come here, come here, get away, get away Imagineer, which means I'm independent. Um, I'm not under the Disney umbrella. I am when they want to take me in and have me work with them. And then I'm out once they decide. So I'm usually last hired to catch them up, first fired when they're caught up. That's how I work. And I love it. I love being a come here, come here, get away, get away, Imagineer. It's a very special position for me. So I really enjoy it. So don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> uh, but the point is this, that... Uh, uh, I don't have the coveted blue badge that many people have, and that's fine. Um, I was offered a few tickets here and there, and when I can have them and get them, I take them. But I didn't want my whole attendance to be contingent upon whether or not I could get a ticket into the park. A lot of red tape, a lot of hoops to jump through. It's just easier to have a pass for me uh, in my situation, okay? And um, yeah, so so that's the way it works for me. I will renew. I will definitely renew. And I'm very excited about renewing because this year, you know, my pass is, uh, I'm using it. I think I've already used it five times and I will have done it 10 times before it's, it's due. It's up for renewal. Yeah. Because we have candlelight coming. I always go and visit people for that. So we have candlelight coming. We have a D23. I mean, a Club 33 dinner, I'll probably be attending all this kind of stuff. There's reasons for me to go. And so the pass is very beneficial to me. So um, let me just check to see. Yeah, nobody. I just need to make them be quiet. Please be quiet. Uh, so that I can continue to focus on what I'm supposed to focus on. Please go away. That's the problem. You know, usually I could silence my phone, but because my dad is just out of the hospital. And my mom is in convalescent hospital. I have to have that phone dinging at all times when people like the, the social worker call me. So thank you for your patience on that. All right, let's take a look at what you have to say. And uh, you can talk about anything. You can talk about how excited you are about D23. You can talk about, if you're not excited about D23, you can talk about, you know, Disney Plus is dropping new shows like crazy. And apparently uh, many of them are very good. I'm looking forward to seeing She-Hulk and many people in the tribe say they just love it. Uh, I'm not a Marvelite. I'm not a Marvel person, but this intrigues me, mainly because the billboards have been all over my city for about two months, it feels like. So it should be fun. So talk about anything here. Um, if you don't want to talk about Disney, you don't have to talk about Disney. Last night I watched Westerns. I couldn't sleep. I slept for most of the day yesterday because a stress went off my back. So um, because that happened... Uh, I decided I wanted to curl up and watch a movie and fall asleep. And I decided to watch Westerns. This has nothing to do with Disney. So I want to encourage you, if you want to talk about something that has nothing to do with Disney, you don't have to talk about Disney. You can talk about um, Ghostbusters. You can talk about Men in Black. You can talk about Westerns. You know, uh, I have a favorite, Good, the Bad, the Ugly. Uh, I did not watch that one. I watched that one a lot. I watched some Sam... Peckinpah, because uh, I'm a Peckinpah fan. I watched one last night that just didn't make any sense that it was a Peckinpah directed film. I, I spent the whole time scratching my head going, huh? I don't even remember the name. It was so weird. It was so weird editing, crazy bizarre music, filmmaking. It was just weird. It was so weird. The whole time we were watching it, we were like, what is going on with this Dialogue seemed choppy. Everything seemed weird. So it was very strange that it was a peck and paw because usually his stuff, his stuff is, you know, wild bunch grit, right? So anyway, so there you go. Just anything you want to talk about, please 
comments are at your service. Good morning, Diane. She says, just came from Terry's tribe. Yes, indeed. Many tribe people cross over and mwah, I thank you for that. Have a great weekend, says Leo. We'll talk and nail down stuff soon. Yes, we will, as we always do. Bonnie, good morning. I always find it cute when you get a call. It makes it feel like it's actually hanging out with you, with a friend, and they need to take an important call real quick. It's terrible. I really get twitchy. You know, what I usually do when I'm visiting with you guys is I turn my phone off. But because of my situation with my dad, I have to have it on 24-7. I mean, I have to have it active so that if I get a call in the middle of the night, I can wake up and answer it. It's so against my nature because I, my husband will tell you, I love my phone. My favorite um, phone mode is off. Yeah, I really like it off. Uh, I am constantly misplacing it because I really don't want it in my hand. I'm not a real big screen person. Um, the screen is too small. I much rather do it on an, uh, you know, look on an iPad, iPad or a laptop. So, you know, I like bigger, <laughs> bigger, bigger is better. Uh, but yeah, thank you for saying that, Bonnie. You're so sweet. I don't know what to do when they call me and I'm on camera. It's like, I feel this is, you know, somebody's going to watch this that's new and go, what the heck is this? But hey, you know, you do what you got to do. I don't want to disappoint uh, all of the people that watch my channel every Friday for ask me anything and every Monday, but I also have to have the phone on. So it, you know, you make, what is it? Making, making lemonade out of lemons. You just, you just roll with it. I hope that it's an example for many of you. If you're, you're thinking of doing a YouTube channel, just go for it. You know, and if you're not perfect at the beginning, people will watch it more, I think. <laughs> so, uh, that's, that's the example. You know, my dad is in a situation that, you know, there could be, you've seen the last few weeks, if you've been watching that I go bye Cause I have to, <laughs> cause there's an, a very, an extremely important call with some private information that I can't broadcast over the internet. So I've got to go, uh, uh Oh, got to take this call. Have a good weekend. See you later. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So I'm glad you guys are patient and understanding. I really, really appreciate it. Because uh, right now it's been a real uh, roller coaster for me. So thank you, Bonnie, for, for weighing in on that. I really appreciate you saying that because it, it makes me feel a little better. Uh, pixie dust, uh, let it go, dust bomb coming your way. Yes. And just, ah, you know, yeah, uh, this week was a good week. Things just fell into place and uh, I hope they continue to do so. Yeah, I, I'm I'm smiling a lot more. Um, um, it's it's better. Sounds like you're getting things in order with your folks. It's challenging, but you're moving in the right direction. Well done, um, Dennis. I want to thank you. You gave me that program. I have not reached out yet, but my dad. I may. I told my dad, and my dad is like on me. So uh, I am going to pull up your notes and your email about accessing that and get those pa that paperwork started. There was other paperwork that was more squeakier the wheel, and you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that I had to, I I couldn't do it all. So I think it's Brian Tracy. I could be wrong. A very famous speaker that that wrote "Eat That Frog." I could be wrong, but. Eat that frog means, you know, you can't eat the whole frog. You can't, you know, you have a, a giant frog sitting in the middle of your living room. And that is all the things that you need to do. That giant frog represents all the things that you need to do. And many times we get so overwhelmed because we're trying to eat the entire frog of responsibilities that we have. And what Brian says, and I believe it's a Brian Tracy book, um, eat one toe at a time. So I try to tell myself to eat a toe at a time, Dennis. And that's what I did. I looked at the most vicious part of that frog and nibbled on those things first. Unfortunately, the things that aren't as, as, as aggressive in my responsibilities are getting neglected. And I start to feel bad about that. Namely my art, painful, painful, painful. And uh, I am going to work really, really hard to either this evening or tomorrow morning get a little bit of art in just so I can feel better. 
because when you do what you love, it balances you. And I have been out of balance because I haven't been able to get to my art table to do the work that makes that's fulfilling for me and inspiring to you guys. And um, that's rough. And so why am I telling you this? Because if you are going through the same thing where you're feeling a little bit melancholy, you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed, I'm not assuming that you are, but let's say that you are. It could be because it's keeping you from the things that really are in your DNA. And in my case, it's my art. I have three paintings I need to complete. I have two sculptures, maybe three, uh, four <laughs> that need to get done. And I have some appearances coming up based on that. I'm also working with a gallery and this gallery has been so patient with me, but there's a gallery that's going to start to take some of my art and get it out to areas that I am not familiar with and make it simpler for you to buy and purchase if you want something. And it's mostly my art. There are a couple of things that are Disney based, but it's mostly my own unique uh, art and it will change because I'm so new to certain 2D aspects, mainly painting that I'm, I'm trying different techniques, but if I think they're cool, I put them up for sale because they're interesting. And uh, this, this art gallery is so cool because you can get it on a mug, you can put it on a bag, you can put it on a shirt, you can put it on metal and put it up in your house. It gives you all these opportunities and it mails right out to you. So, so I've got six pieces that I've done from my past that I'm going to post to like hold the spot for my new stuff because I haven't been able to do my new stuff yet. And uh, well, I have a couple of new pieces going up that happened like in this year, but um, there are some pieces that are going to be going up that are from the past. Like I have some Star Wars illustrations that I did in 1977 when I sat for 183 episodes and watched that movie 183 times watching Star Wars 183 times. Anyway, uh, I did some illustrations during that time and I've decided to make the digital versions available. So that will be happening. So I've got to get that all set. And the gallery is really patient. I have not spoken to them in two weeks. We were going to launch in July and here it is almost the end of August because of family matters. So basically what it is, as you eat the frog a toe at a time and you try not to beat yourself up for that, which you are unable to do, you're only human. You are not a superwoman. I'm a pretty super, super woman, but I am not as superwoman as I thought I could be. And yesterday I hit a real hurdle. I went over a wall that had been up against me, Dennis, for a very long time. And it came down. The walls of Jericho came down and I broke through that wall and was very successful. But I barely was able to drive home. The stress level that had been in my body that I wasn't fully aware of, my body began to say, oh, thank God I can release that stress out into the universe. Goodbye, stress. And, and we're going to rest now because I haven't had the best sleep and all that sort of thing. So it started to do what bodies do, which is time to... But I'm driving. So luckily I wasn't far away. So I got myself home and then I went into the house and I ate a little bit of something because I had not had lunch. I actually managed to push strong enough to make lunch for my husband and myself. So I had a decent, good, balanced lunch. And then I laid down and did not wake up until 11 last night. Now, there may have been a time between the time I laid down at three and the time I woke up at 11 yesterday as my body shut down and said, you're done, you're resting, that I got a, I woke up and had dinner, but I do not recall it. I was that tired. That stress works hard on your body. And sometimes you're just doing everything in your power to keep upright. And so try not to add to your stress by you know, chastising yourself for not being able to do more. Do what you can. Eat that frog one toe at a time and take care of yourself as best you can. I really have to live by this myself. Sometimes it's not easy. We're not perfect. I'm definitely not perfect. But I, the relief was so, so much off my shoulders. I probably was two inches taller. 
And I just lay down and my dog curled up next to me. She tried to wake me, but I was, I was like, no, curl up, sleep or go see daddy because uh, it's time. And I slept for that much time. I just caught up on all those hours. What's wild is I woke up at midnight, watched a Western for an hour and a half or whatever it was. And then I curled back up and went back to sleep. You may have noticed my postings were in the morning. That's because I got up, did the thumbnails, did the postings for these broadcasts, and then went back to sleep and could go back to sleep. That's the thing. So today I'm feeling really good because that's that, that's gone. So I'm like, what new toe do I need to gobble up? And there's a couple. But I've made the choice to leave a couple of toes alone until next week because I'm in such a good mood and I'm feeling really good. And these toes I have to tackle might put me in a bad mood. So I'm going to wait <laughs> till next weekend. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my joy and try to do some art stuff because there is a little lull there that I think things have coasted enough that I can do my art without worrying that I'm needed. There's paperwork that needs to be filed and stuff like that. I think I got most of it done. I mean, there's others that I got to do, but most of it has got done. So I'm going to kind of, you know, get back into the art so I can rebuild my myself, you know, rejuvenate that DNA, that art DNA. So I know you didn't ask this question, but I want you to know that uh, we're going through this stuff. And on top of everything else, we still have the pandemic out there. That COVID-19 just is a little stinker. And so, you know, you still have to, I took a, I think I mentioned to you, I took a cricket class. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. My husband bought me one of those cricket cutting machines as a, as a birthday gift. And I haven't really got to use it very much. In fact, I've, I've got to get with him and we got to focus on maybe this weekend doing this one thing that I want to do uh, for Discon. And uh, I need to have the cutting machine help me with it. This cutting machine um, isn't, I don't, how can I say this? I'm not going to use it like most people use a cutting machine. I'm using it for different things. And so I went and sat with a basic class at Joanne's to get the basics, but to also have a teacher who really knew all the machines. So I could ask her about materials that are not necessarily mentioned in the Cricut manual for the Cricut Maker 3, which is the machine I got. And she told me, yes, it can do that. Yes, yes, yes. And she started to talk to me a little bit about some of the alterations I may have to do and have to make. But she also told me there's some places online I can actually ask these specific questions and they can talk to me about that. And then what maybe I'll do, as I see there's thousands and thousands of cricket how-tos on YouTube, is I may do one based on what how I use it because I'm going to use it very, very differently than most people use the cricket for their uh, deal. Um, Cricket has a, a group called Access, and I didn't know if I was going to use images from Access, if I was going to, uh, you know, there's images and cards that you're authorized to use and make. You can just like, you know, hit the button birthday card and it cuts out a card. You glue it together, you're done. But it's someone else's design. Not that this is a bad thing. Obviously, they've authorized this through this Access plan. But I wasn't sure I was going to use that very much. Honestly, it, it just isn't my thing. I like to design my own stuff. But one thing I don't like designing, one thing I don't like doing is fonts. So it has a ton and ton and ton and ton of fonts. So now just like the Disney annual pass, I have to ask myself, is a membership to this cricket access group something that I want? Is it worth my while per month to sign up for it for the fonts? Because the fonts are something I don't want to do. And you get this huge amount of fonts if you join. So for me, this may be exactly where the program is good. Also, there's a couple of accesses to, they give you discounts on product, which I could always use. And they also have accesses to certain um, communities that may or may not be available under the normal joining part of it. You can, there is a place where you can join it for free. You don't have to pay to join it. Um, but the access plan is a benefit, a bonus. And for many of you who are crafters out there, this is a great thing to be a part of. It's not that expensive and it has components that you can put together and build. Like one of the things they say that is super, super exciting about this is, uh, let me stand up for a minute. Cause I just realized that I did something wrong here. Let me just fix it. Oh, there we are. That's good. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, um, what it, what what this does is uh, they 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 talk about these little flowers you can make out of paper, 
and someone has gone through the process of making these paper flowers. Okay. So through the access program, they have a lot of these paper flower patterns that you can do. And if you're someone like me, I wouldn't necessarily copy the paper flower pattern, but I could make my own paper flower designs based on that breakdown. So now I'm looking at how a paper flower is break down. I cut one out. I look at it. I make my alterations. I change it to be, but I have that as a foundation to start because these people who are part of the access plan and many of you who are part of the cricket community have already gone and done the hard steps. So now I start to see why my monthly fee might be a beneficial to me to stay. You follow me? So it's the same with the Disney pass. You got to ask yourself and check off, you know, is it going to be beneficial to me to do this? You know, for example, let's say you don't live in the area, but you're going to be like my two friends from London who are coming over here and they're going to be here for like a month. <laughs> and let's say you wanted to go five days in a row to Disneyland. What does that cost? What does that five days in a row? Let's say you make your one, two, three, four, five, and you make five at 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 two part pass price. What is the price for a two part pass? Anybody know? The the, the I don't know. I, I I have the other. But let's say it's a couple hundred dollars. That's a thousand bucks for one person right there. And what are they asking for the top tier? Or what are they asking for the second tier? You see, you see, this is why you, you got to do a little bit of, of, of research and planning. But if you're coming for one to two weeks and you want to spend your time in the park or California adventure for six days or seven days all at once, it may behoove you to get the pass. You may actually save money, 20% off your genie, 20% off your, your food and your meals, you know. 25, you know, you may not even be doing parking because you fly in, you take a, a, a bus, an Uber or something directly to the hotel and you stay on the property. So you may not even need parking, but this is when you need to figure out, you know, which pass is good for you and your family. So that's why I wanted to talk to you about Disney passes today, because this is something that you want to do, even if you're away from town. You know, now it's going to be a little more challenging if you have children and your husband and et cetera and et cetera, but just crunch some numbers. I hate crunching numbers. I'd much rather ask my bookkeeper who is an artist and let her crunch the numbers, but I hate crunching numbers. Crunching numbers is a pain in my backside, but uh, I do it because uh, we want to justify the cost. Well, that's what happened with my cricket is I had to justify the cost. And the beautiful thing about it is I've got people uh, there's classes I can learn and things I've, I've come, my friend and I have come up, well, actually my friend came up with this from the tribe, Josiah, he came up with this really sweet idea for me to autograph. And so he was going to hand cut these pieces out and I'm going to do it with my cricket because not only are they going to be more accurate and more lovely, but uh, they're easier. The cricket's going to do it times how many I want, right? So tons of, of potential with this machine yet. I've yet to explore more, but I find myself going, oh, I could do this with the cricket. I could do that with the cricket. I'm sure you all found that out too, or whatever cutting machine you have. Uh, sounds like things are coming together. It's not easy, but you're moving in the right direction, says Dennis. Um, day by day, my friend. Exactly, Dennis. And thank you for your help. You, you were really... You were really a great shoulder to lean on when I was going through my meltdown. So I want to thank you for that. Evan says, I like that I like that my key now offers a parking discount. Still think Genie is stupid and need to go away. All they are doing is continuing to saturate the fast pass line. Good point, Evan. I hadn't thought about that. Further slowing down the standby line. In fact, lots of times the fast pass line is longer. <laughs> Don't you just hate that? Don't you just hate that? It's kind of like you're driving on the freeway and the diamond lane is all crammed up too. <laughs> you know, the diamond lane, you, you get you get your carpool all together. It's not that you necessarily love a carpool, but you do it. You can drive in the diamond lane and then it ain't moving either. 
<laughs> Evan, I feel that. That's a really good ob observation I had not thought about since I don't really ride a lot of rides. Uh, you do get to write off the cost of your Disneyland key from your taxes, yes. In my case, because I'm in a Disney Imagineer, I can write it off for my taxes. But that still means you got to come up with the bank up front, right? So you want to make sure it's worth it. You don't be, you don't want to, you know, you know what I mean, Leo? Yeah, you know what I mean. Connie says, I am beside myself with excitement to meet everyone. This is a magical moment for me. So those of you who do not know Connie Lane, um, Connie Lane, did I say Connie Francis? I didn't say that. Did I, Connie? Good grief. See, I got rest. Look out. I got rest. Uh, Connie Lane is going to be a special guest at D23. So those of you who have not met Connie Lane, you need to get off it and do so. You have till Monday to do your presentation wish list. You better put her on there. Not that I'm threatening you. I just, you're going to be really sad if you miss out on a talk by her. She's, she's a lovely, amazing lady. And uh, fill that room, will you? Um, she's also doing a meet and greet at the talent central on Saturday. So if you're coming Saturday and you want something autographed by her or whatever, Google her name, research who is Connie Lane so that you're prepared with something for her to sign. Okay. But she's a lovely person and, uh, uh be sure to go and meet her when you're at D23. She's going to be one of the highlights of D23. I can assure you. Yay, Connie. I go third, 30. I go 30 time, 26 mile high pass. Alan, you say you go 30 time, 26 mile high pass for me to renew. It sounds like it's a real benefit to you, right? Right. See, you've already done the math, haven't you? Bonnie says, my homework tonight is to review D23 emails and info. It's been a very busy week and haven't been looking into reservations. I did say they extended to Sunday. Yes, Bonnie. So what, what this is in the tribe, feel free to go on our tribe. Bonnie's a member of our of uh, Terry's tribe and uh, patreon.com slash Terry Harden if you want to be a part of it, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie, um, it's not, it's a wish list. This is the way I've simplified it the most for D23. It's a wish list. So you go in there and you put what you'd like to see. You start marking with your past what you'd like to see. I have a couple theories on that. And one I hope is correct in that D23 will be able to take a look at how many people want to see who, what, when, and where, and they can shuffle around the auditoriums so that it, if, if, if a lot of people want to see one thing that they didn't necessarily think was going to be such a big draw, they were kind of thinking average draw. And then they saw, oh my gosh, everybody really wants to see this one. They can play the shell game and move it around and put it in a larger uh, uh, auditorium or uh, room. So that's why I think I'm hoping this is what they're doing because this will make it so all of you can attend if possible that, that panel that they love so much. So um, this is my fingers crossed, hoping that's what it is. So please, yes, Bonnie, get your wish list in before Sunday, okay? And I think it's like noon on Sunday, I think the tribe was saying. You can listen to the broadcast if you didn't see it on the tribe broadcast. They all talk about it in there. It's it's the big hub, 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 hub. Yeah, everybody is like, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and you can also post on Facebook, uh, our Facebook page. But the tribe is a, is is like, blah, 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 blah. They, they tell you how, what, when, where. Um, D23 is very, very predominant in the conversation there. So, so go there and, uh, and then reach out to them if you need any help. Okay, Bonnie. Yeah, they're there for you. You know how they are just like you special. Uh, you should put up your Walt and Ward train art. That would be a good seller. Leo, I am almost sold out. Yeah. <laughs> I actually sent Michael Brogy an original with a thank you. He got one of my original pieces with a thank you, but uh, I think I only have like 18 of those left and then they're gone. And I made, I did, uh, we're talking about my cache Walton Ward art. Let me see if I can find it for you. I think I did cache art here, but maybe not. I may be not be that brilliant. And let me see if I put it under stamps. I can show you what, what Leo is talking about. Just so some of you are like, what are you talking about? Cache? I don't know what a cache is. What is that? What is that thing called cache? Uh, I will explain. Okay. Yeah, here they are. 
um, cache art is uh, illustrations that are put on an envelope. And here are the ones that Leo is speaking of right here. These are my um, Walt Disney Railroad. They won first place uh, in cache art. So I am official cache artist. A cache is an illustration that goes on the envelope of something that is a first day cancellation. So you will see here two cancellations. Let's go to the color one. This is a color cancellation. And this is a black and white cancellation for first day. See, first day of issue. And then you see May 10th, 2019. Okay. So in 2020, I won first place for this piece. It has three stamps. You can never re, it is against the law to reproduce a stamp. Not make another stamp, but to even take a photograph and stick it in these areas of the, um, of where stamps go. Uh, and then you put the stamps on the envelope. In this case, I use a number 10 envelope and you have, uh, you have on one side, you have the Jupiter on the other side, you have the, um, oh gosh, I'm terrible. But anyway, and then the golden spike. So it commemorates the transcontinental railroad and I did the illustrations on the bottom with the train tracks and then Ward, Kimball, and Walt Disney kind of celebrating it. So that's what you see here. And I made probably about, it was an addition of both of them of two, oh, I can't even remember. There were a lot. There were a lot. But I sold a big chunk of these to the Carrollwood Society and they are offering them to their members. Um, I gave them a deal because yeah, they are, it's great. They're great for that. They're, they're perfect people for this. And, uh, and so that's a cachet, but a cachet is an illustration. You first get an envelope and then you can go to your post office and get it canceled, you know? And then um, the artist can either illustrate on an already canceled envelope or they can create the art first put the stamps on and send them to be first day canceled. Okay. But in any case, caches are highly collected, highly coveted. My first one was dragons and this one won. Uh, let me see if I have them all. Yeah, here they are. Here they are all. This one was for dragons. There they are all hand painted, hand illustrated and hand drawn. And I did 130 plus envelopes all by hand, all the inking by hand, all the painting by hand. And the set, this whole set sells for over $600. There are only six sets left um, because they won everything. They won best of show. They won uh, best in their division. They won best in um, black and white. They won best in color. They won, they just swept the contest. So, and I, oh, and I was a, this was my first cachet. These were my first cachets. Let me go like this because they're that way. Uh, these were my first cachets. And um, so uh, as you can see here, if I don't zoom in, if I kind of take it back, you can see that each one illustrates a different dragon. If I enlarge it for you, the stamp is on the side. And then I did my illustration. And you see there's a pagoda in the stamp. So I did a little pagoda over there on the left. So I worked to try and put some elements of the stamps in there, all hand painted and hand illustrated. I did my dragons that were kind of celebrating those dragons, you see? So um, they are original art pieces. So I could actually pull them up and offer them in the gallery, actually. Leo's right. I do have a few sets of these left. These are the black and white ones, okay? When you have a color, DCP, digital color uh, postmark, you can see that's the color one. You do the contrast, which is the black and white of the little dragon. So I just took colors that were similar and did all eight. So there you go. That is a cachet. Thank you for asking. I mean, thank you for suggesting that. The Walton Ward one, I can't do, but I do have some coming out 
um, that weren't contest winners because I decided not to enter the contest. I might enter the contest next year because I have an idea for my own art yet again, or maybe not my own art. Anyway, I've got some ideas happening. Yep, yep, yep. I'll show you, you know. I've got I've got this brainstorm of an idea to enter the cache contest for next year with a stamp that was released this year is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. That didn't really come out the way I wanted it. But I can also do cache art exclusive to people who collect like you guys do that I would offer only to collectors where it is it doesn't even go through the stamp society. Yeah. So, you know, there you go. Disney just announced the legends for this year. Anthony Anderson, Kristen Bell, Chadwick Boseman. Well, you knew he was going to be on there. Uh, Robert Coltrane, Patrick Dempsey, Robert Price, Bob Foster, Jonathan Groff, Don Hahn. Oh, I didn't realize Don Hahn wasn't. He deserves to be one, doesn't he? Joss Gad, Joris Harden, I, uh, Adelina Menzel, Chris Monten, Ellen, uh, Tracy Ellis Rose, and Terry Harden. Wait, what? No, Terry Harden? Oh, I'll just have to keep Shawshanking them, I guess. Anyway, um, yeah, some names worthy, some names not, but mine hopefully will be on there soon. One can only continue to drive them crazy. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're having a little a little hurdle completely. Oh yeah, it was it was it was a hurdle. Yeah. Yeah, it was a wall I had been smashing into for years and finally broke through. You know, what does that say? Just keep it up. Never give up. Never give up. Don't ever give up. Good morning, Terry. Joining late. That's okay. Always a pleasure. Better late than never, Joseph. I submitted my request. Hopefully, I'll be able to get the presentations I want. Like I said, you're all putting in your wish list, and I think they're doing this early. I mean, you tell me, I don't think they did this before for D23. They should have been doing it from the first time they ever did this. And I think hopefully you guys will benefit. I've heard a lot of negative things about what D23 is doing to certain people this year. And I'm hoping that um, that is outweighed by all of the good things they're doing for you. So you guys keep me posted, okay? I am there Friday, so look for me. I'll be wearing my fabulous skull coat and I'll be wandering on Friday and then I'll be there Sunday wandering around. So if you see me, don't be shy. Come up and say hello, all right? Uh, I would love to see you. Bonnie says, I'm excited for D23. Haven't been since 2015. Bonnie, I hope I can get you your hitchhiking ghosts. They're safely sitting in my living room right now, and but I'd love to get them to you. I'm so glad to hear that you're coming because they're waiting for you. Uh, but yes, um, my birthday is the 15th, so this is my present to myself. Happy birthday, and I got another one here for you. <laughs> Uh, learn more about the wonderful Connie Lane by looking up recent 14 part series by Disney record guy Josiah. Yeah, right next to the 14 part series about me um, on TikTok and uh, and YouTube, I believe Josiah has Disney record guy. He does some great work. You'll love it. But like I said, do your research so that you don't miss out on Connie Lane. Okay, you will you will really be sad if you do. It's kind of like going to Paris Disneyland or Disneyland Paris. And missing the dragon, my dragon. It's like you go to Paris, you do everything, but you don't realize there's a dragon underneath the castle. And you leave only to find out, ah, the dragon I put under the castle. And uh, uh, you missed it. So this is the intensity of your sadness if you don't see Connie Lane, okay? All right, just saying. Uh, it really helps to stop people from camping out for panels. Also, who in their right mind wants to camp in Anaheim? Oh, they still will, sweetie. Oh, yes, they still will. If they are told by by if they are told by D23 that there is a possibility to get into the panel you missed by lining up, guess what you'll do? I'm afraid it's true. So I would love it to stop that because it's so heartbreaking to see people miss out on what they love. But uh, again, go through, I, I mean, this year, I don't know if they're going to have special guests. I do know that Margaret Carey is a special guest at a booth. 
So I can't imagine that some other booths aren't going to have special guests as well. Um, so um, I'm hoping, you know, I'm hoping that uh, you can walk around on a Friday and write down special guests so that you can meet them later. I can't imagine that Disney uh, publishing won't have special guests like Don Hahn. I actually reached out to Don the last D23 and uh, he wrote back to me, which was really nice. I texted him and, and said, congratulations on your new book or something to that effect. And he wrote back to me. It was nice and inspiring. We, we've only met once or twice face to face, but it was great to actually have a, a, a real connection. And now, of course, I really thought he already was a Disney legend. For him, it's about time. Um, I, I like when people like him get get the awards because it, it really is about time. Uh, some of these other people, I don't know who they are. It doesn't mean they're not worthy. It's just that lately it seems to be a bargaining chip more than the Legends Award. And uh, I still want it. I still deserve it. I still want it. So all of that aside, blah, blah, blah. I still want it. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree. So there you have it. Well, everyone, it seems like Friday is a day that you're out and about as the Comments and questions have come to an end. So I'm going to take this opportunity to say thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And uh, Bonnie says there's going to be major lines still. I'm a little worried how crazy it will be. It's just gotten more packed over the years. ba -bum! Yeah. She's right. She's right. She's right. But I appreciate you getting in on the conversation. Maybe many of you are not so eager about the past conversation about Disney passes because you're not in the thick of it yet like me. Mine will really not happen until the beginning of next year. I am allowed to renew in December because that's my 30 year, my 30 year, my 30 day window, my 30 year window. If only, right, uh, is my 30 day window. So uh, guys, have a wonderful weekend. I will be at Disneyland on August 27th, that Saturday, not in the park. Repeat, I'm not in the park. I actually uh, hit a level with chalk that gave me a ticket, but I, I gave it to one of my lucky members in, my, in the tribe. So uh, the tribe has a lot of good things happening once again patreon.com slash Terry Harden. Go there, check it out. The first tier is only $5 a month. There are higher portals that you can get involved in, set yourself down. But I recommend, you know, dipping a toe in this tier for $5 a month and see if it's something you like. I hope it is because I know we're going to enjoy your voice being added to the group. So I encourage you to uh, check it out. Go there. But yeah, so uh, what I started to say was I am going to be uh, probably in the downtown Disney area, California, the Grand Californian area, as I prepare for the big event for Chalk Walk uh, at uh, Disney California Adventure Park at five o'clock. So I'll be wandering there like, an, like a little, you know, just you know, just look for me if you, if you haven't seen me or if you want to come down, I have a couple people coming down, uh, to join me for lunch. And then I also have a person coming to get a poster signed that he wanted signed. And I said, I'm going to be there on that day, but not in the park. Let me say again, I am not in Disneyland park. The ticket that I won, cause I'm a pass holder. Okay. The ticket that I won, I gave to someone in the Terry's tribe right here. So I always over deliver. I, um, and you know, it's not about what perks you get, but the community you join. So I highly recommend you take a look and become a part of Terry tribe. All you have to do is skip one of your coffees once a month and you pay for it or put a quarter in a jar every day and you have your $5 to pay for it. It's a good, very good deal. It's one of the few deals that really, over delivers for your membership because it is something that we all believe in and it's a great place to get together and be inspired. So with that being said, I will pop over to the comment section and see what else is there. We have, um, um, Bonnie saying, I know I've been, I've been horrible getting in touch about those ghosts. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. You just haven't. You're not in town. And I don't mind babysitting. And don't feel bad because uh, 
my job, you know, that same raffle that I did an opportunity drawing for the tribe. Okay. For those of you who are listening and I had this giant Grogu and I had uh, the hitchhiking ghost popcorn buckets that we did an opportunity drawing for. Okay. So yay, whatever, uh, which is what, what Bonnie's talking about, but slappy who is a part of the tribe as well, Bonnie, has not picked up his Grogu either. Chances are he's going to pick up his Grogu during the pumpkin sculpting contest. I mean, the pumpkin sculpting that we're doing. And I will next week tell you all about pumpkin sculpting. I'm still getting the the, the page, the website ready. So you have a smooth sailing if you want to join one of my pumpkin sculpting classes. I know it's August. Why are we talking Halloween? But you saw that the Oogie Boogie Bash, Disneyland already, put the tickets out for the Oogie Boogie Bash. So Halloween is always planned July and August. And so I'm already booked up for classes. I'm already booked up for demos. I'm already booked up for October. So uh, you got to do it. You know, this is why um, we will let you know in August about the class. Okay. So you have time if you want to fly out for it, people fly out to this class. So, uh, uh, I will announce Monday. I will try to make sure I have everything ready. I don't know. I've got family stuff as you heard. So we're going to do the best we can. All right. But patreon.com slash Jerry Harden. Uh, is the thing that you want to do. All right. Please join the tribe if you are so inclined. Check it out. Doesn't cost a lot just to check it out. Have a great weekend. Some of the stuff with your parents. Exactly, Diane. I got that. So don't worry. I got it. I did. I got it. And and I'm not belittling that. It was a hell of a wall that you're talking about. And I'm just glad I'm over it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and there's no like bungee to take me back. No, it's good. So thank you, Diane. I always appreciate your input and I appreciate your well wishes. Don't ever worry. Believe me, I, I get from some people that sometimes my intensity can give you a false impression. Understand that intensity is usually coming from somewhere else. It is not in your direction. I want to just clarify that, that uh, uh, if stuff comes off a little gruff, it's because of what I, I'm going through here. It's not about you. Believe me, if it turns out that you say something that sets me off, you will know it. Okay. I'm not the mother of dragons. I'm a mother. I'm the mother. I'm called the mother of dragons for a reason. So uh, please don't um, get worried. You'll, you'll definitely know. Now I have to go and do laundry. He says, see you later. Yes, Evan. <laughs> You don't want to go have fun in dirty clothes. Well, maybe you do. Who knows? <laughs> uh, guys, I love you guys so much. Diane says, I have, uh, LOL, it's not you hugs. No, no, no. ADHD is 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 something that is, is the real deal. And I just don't want you to worry. There's people who get on that apologize when they're making a joke. Believe me, if it, if I, and, and Leo will tell you, he's always using, uh, and acronyms is it, you know, he makes the initials and I never understand what he's saying. So he has to spell it out and he understands he doesn't mind. So just be like Leo and just go with the flow guys, go with the flow, go with the flow. Okay. And it'll be great guys do something nice for someone else. It'll make you feel a whole lot better. And uh, thank you for being here for me. Join the tribe. They're there for everyone. And uh, you won't regret it. You really, really will not regret it. It is worth that $5 a month. It really is. And uh, I'm glad that it's there for all of you. Have a lovely weekend. I will see you Monday. Be safe. Be real. See you 